Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, Asi Darling. This is the first day of freedom, and I'm about to go jogging. I'm here with my face mask, my earpiece, and I'm decked. Today, I wore waist trainer, and then black on black. Everything is black. So this is my my husband's Nike set. I beg. Do I look like I I have time to guard? Hope everybody's doing fine. Like, feels so good to be seeing human beings. Feels so good to be walking on the road. So let's go, let's go. My name is Asitonka Agri Abba, and the channel is called Asi Darling because I'm such a darling. <laughs> Things are pretty much back to normal. You see, barber shop open. Someone is running in for a haircut. God. Like people have just missed being up and about all right so guys two things that i'm very sure will sell out today bread and eggs man everybody's running to buy bread and eggs have you seen the the water this fisherman up here has already cast his net so what kind of fishes are we getting water is so polluted you can see some badges here you can see them this is on the bridge so let's keep going. You can see Gulf Estate up ahead. This is where I am. Cars, trucks, everything is moving with great speed. As if before the governor changes his mind. He's carrying cows inside there, guys. There are cows inside that boat. You know, I told you a story of how they were killing cows in Okrika. So maybe that's how they carry them. Because I think they're up to like, what, six in that boat there. Guys, I've gotten to the junction. And there's already traffic. I remember telling you a lot of people are going to their villages, so watch out for that. We stay fit even in this pandemic is to not eat so much. That's all. Because since you're not moving so much, you don't want to consume so much. Minimize the number of things that get into your mouth and that way minimize the number of things you have to burn. All right. All right, so I finished walking all the way from my house to the bridge and back this way to Gulf Estate and I just came here to do this you my waist trainer i don't know if you can see the full one it's how it is then i wash shorts and um, Guys, I just came back from walking and um, I did a morning walk. I walked all the way to the roundabout and back. I'm going to insert how many kilometers I did. I feel so proud. Initially, I said when I get to the roundabout, I'll just take a drop and keke and come back. But when I got there, I was like, you know what? Let me just go back home. And I feel I feel rejuvenated. Two thousand years later. <gasps> Hi guys! When I came back from my jogging, I was so tired. I was so tired. Usually I'm able to go up a rowing but um, I did, I think, over 12,000 steps. I would have written that down. And my body was just broken. I've been, I've been staying at home for so long. What's the time? I think it's like past, past five. I'm going to also write that. I'm just waking up, guys. I don't know. I don't know. It is what it is. <laughs> hi everyone so you're welcome back to my youtube channel like there's been so much things to talk about there's been so much to, like i want to give isolation potato isolation updates a break but the, <laughs> there's always something coming up guys good news our senior prefect the governor of river state has decided to give us an extension for this our midterm break so it's going to end on sunday evening but this is where the bad news is there were people that were basically hoarding bread men and brethren if you're not in if you were not in port harcourt you don't understand that bread is gold hey people were buying bread for 1500 people were buying bread for 1000 why will you buy a loaf of bread for 1000 like i don't even understand and some people are buying up to 12 loaves the shelf life of bread should be should not be more than three days now is can bread stay up to seven days i don't even know why you should buy 12 loaves because it will spoil a lot of people will have bread that will spoil so the big winners for this lockdown shopping and the rush bread and egg poultry farmers were like you can't even call a poultry and they say they have they booked all their eggs they were literally waiting for the for their chickens to lay please lay <laughs> I'm hoping maybe Friday, Saturday, I might be able to go out. So I'll show you like 
a drive around kind of vlog but if i don't do that just know this is my final update i need to go back to my normal uploads i need to have other things there's so many content lined up but this post haircut thank you guys so much for your feedback right in the comment section below a lot of people are enjoying this um feedback from our um lockdown just yesterday and day before yesterday market square they couldn't keep up with the others in fact one person cannot buy more than two loaves you can imagine one person cannot buy more than two loaves in the business side i would say the reason why market square are big winners is because they do not have that middleman you buy market square bread from market square this is where i think they got it wrong even me i know that bread and egg were going to top the charts maybe because i like finance data analysis and all those things if i'm the manager there is no baker or anybody that is going to go home a night before everybody is sleeping there we would have baked enough bread you know the reason people were waiting five hours six hours is because they finish selling the ones that are on the shelf and they have to wait for new ones to bake you know, i think to break bread is it for five minutes or whatever the, the real time is please let me know in the comment section below imagine waiting for bread to get ready and because a lot of people have spot market square bread you have to get it hot and all of that but i think from the business point of view if i'm them I would have had like more than 1,000 loaves already, already, and that's today bread because Potako people are today bread. Of course, that morning, let's say by, by 1 a.m., I would have started, I would have um, told them to start baking. Then we get canopy, that packing lot, normal bread, fruit bread, coconut bread, you understand? And just keep at the canopy. Then those that will form the line, we have like 10 staff that will go you how many do you want give everybody tally number how many bread do you want okay my tally is this my bread number is this collect orders give as you're giving their person so nobody is going inside if it's bread you cannot enter inside because bread orders are taken outside that way you decongest and there's no need for many groups it's just that planning is the main thing only for the governor to say lockdown has been extended people could not even say thank you because some people were so angry <laughs> and that brings me back to this video are we even ready are we ready i mean those of you that are shouting biafra give me my own country you are going to buy crab broccoli you think if war comes this broccoli that will be your problem salmon i could not find the salmon i like i could not find my cauliflower auntie <laughs> Oh look, just small lockdown now. Everybody's panicking. You can't find onion chicken in Domi. Let me tell you the reason onion chicken is not even on shelves. It's because people are buying it to export. Remember the video where I did that? I went to Next Cash and Carry. The video about the top um four supermarkets. I'm going to link it. That was during that early period of the lockdown. I'm going to link that video in the comment in the description box. When I went to that place, I couldn't find the small onion chicken why because somebody came and bought 300 cartons you think she is she's addicted to onion chicken she's exporting it that's the reason why we we are dealing with those that are exporting and we're also dealing with the fact that since the borders are locked more things are not coming in as they would and then you know most of these people have already booked from their suppliers a certain amount per month so when you just all of a sudden because of demand lagos is having demand abuja is having demand this one is having demand and it's just so much so food is definitely available it's just the the capacity with which people refill another update is that if you enter spa i know i couldn't go to those places because the rush and the crowd it just did not make sense for me to stay five hours on the line only to go and do a youtube video no it didn't make sense but if you enter spa spa of course they were struggling for bread but they said the entire vegetable section there was nothing at all at all there was nothing so whew, god help us fruit garden of course i got a report from food fruit garden one green pepper one green pepper 500 <laughs> is it 500 she said yes then miserable carrot in fact fruit garden had no fruits they 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 locked the gates basically so people were going to even eastern garden people were going to eastern garden to wait for bread little bakeries were selling out i'm not talking of the bakery that are gourmet like those that have their special even if you're baking chin chin everybody had to go into bread and that's another business point that i i i was telling one of my friend she does wedding cakes i said see demand for bread is going up a lot of people are not getting married or asking for wedding cakes focus on bread focus all those your energy on bread call the people in your church call the people in your inner circle you're going to deliver hot bread the moment they know 
that they don't need to queue up in market square because of bread uh -uh. They will, who told you you won't sell out you're saying oh i'm not so big and all of that your ability to adjust when it comes to demand and supply that in itself is the real business we are always having gist in port harcourt remember my last video before i finish that video only for me to find out that the governor is building an actual fence to demarcate evil state from river state at this point he should just fence the state round and people should use visa to enter river state like potako you all need visas to come to river state that's just what we have to say we are not there yet but with faith please if you're hearing any noises the air conditioning because i don't want to sweat too much i have um i reduced the fan so it shouldn't be that bad all right guys let me know in the comment section below what you think about this lockdown who has said it's not working what do you think because another thing is since they did the lockdown we improved our testing and we have gotten 20 more cases you understand so i just think uh, at some point they should relax the lockdown another thing that is the bad part of this whole lockdown and things is panic shopping people were doing panic shopping you do not need 17 cartons of indomie you're spending all your money remember i did a video about um saving money earlier this year i'll link it in the comment section i'll link it in the description box we should try i know it's hard because there's this part of i don't know when it's going to end but that doesn't mean you should finish your money on food it doesn't even make sense there's electricity there's fuel i understand that point there's fuel there's gas but you have one bag of rice you have the basic ingredients that will arrange one kind of jello fries and all that i don't see why you're deciding to buy salmon broccoli it's now in pandemic that you want to eat like a king i don't understand though like ha, we are spoiled though we are spoiled like we are really spoiled so you see people that are ordering like crabs and all those things is it because we are staying at home because a lot of people are losing their jobs people are afraid even people that still have their jobs are afraid of tomorrow. Tomorrow they can call you and you lose your job. So why would you even justify finishing your money on things that are not necessary? I would think that the things that will finish is rice. Bags of rice and all those things. But people are finishing, oh, let's buy 100 bread. If, if you finish all those bread, what will you now do? And then those that say, okay, bread will spoil are the ones that went to finish my cabin for me. <laughs> Please, I think there should be a line. Yes, at the back of my mind, I want to go all out and buy coke in cartons because I don't even want to hear that I'm missing coke. But at the other part of my mind, I'm also thinking, as much as I want to buy a lot of it, I can do without it. I mean, it will also help my fitness, whatever. Please let us draw the line. Panic shopping is the reason people went to finish um, tissue paper and the rest. Here, yeah, we don't really care for all those things. We already have our disinfectants. We already have those ones. It's food. Panic shopping for food is the real ish right now so what is the hope of the common man there are poor people that cannot even have you know those people that we normally give handouts we can't give them because we're also afraid for ourselves people are not getting palliatives on time people are not get like there's a lot of question mark in this whole lockdown and that's why i for one i think that we should relax the lockdown but just put a, a certain number of restrictions yes the numbers are going to go up but seriously there's there's nothing we can do sitting inside does not really stop the numbers from going up it will still go up it will still go up we just need to restrict movement and um every other thing we are doing sorry i have to put i have to put this on again Ooh, this is one of the struggles of doing videos in the car or doing a video even in nigeria because you put on the ac you get fresh air you have to put it off so that you can start talking again it's really crazy I hope the noise is not too bad <laughs> so these are just the issues and this is not even the time to fall ill this is not the time to fall ill so people that need um, um donations maybe let's say for dialysis for kidney transplant right now they can't even talk because nobody is ready to bring out money everybody is holding money back for fear of one thing or the other so let me know in the comment section below what you think about this my thoughts i mean i need us to let's talk let's talk i want this channel to be as interactive as possible and that's why i always say let's talk because um as much as there are, there are, there are topics i can put out searchable content that will probably plus or minus get me views but these are topical issues this is this is something that's affecting us now and we have to talk about it so let me know in the comment section below what do you think is the hope for the common man i mean the governor has also promised that all the farmers 
as long as you can farm he's buying everything as long as you can fish he's buying everything so that he uses that for palliative i think that's a very good and welcome development what do you guys Different think things that the governor was saying in that video if he sees the hotel now the hotel is government property so since it's government property he has decided to demolish it the new thing on board is that that hotel is going to be converted to a to a primary school they are building a primary school on that site right now groundbreaking they have to start building a primary school on that hotel ground so this is now where people are like okay if you seize it does it mean it's the property of the government and will you feel better if it's the property of the government boy standing or you feel better if it's the property of government and the government does whatever they want to do with their property do you understand so plus or minus you also know that the governor is a barrister so all the legal terms and legal whatever aside i'm not somebody that plays with sentiment because i know that both of them are pdp i think they know where they will settle themselves and that's why i don't even put them out in that their problem <laughs> please permit me to take some time out to do my other content that i normally do and let me know in the comment section below if there are other content you want me to do i have content on topical issues content on my sister locks of course i just wove my sister locks back um content on different things i want to do a live video and that live video is going to be my q a let me know in the comment section below what you think about that that will be my first live video or should i do an assumptions video let me know in the comment section below if you want either live or assumptions so that i will do kind of like a poll on my community tab so that we can get it rolling i know i have to be more frequent with the videos and not store and hot com um content please like this video comment share if you're not already subscribed please subscribe to my channel thank you guys so much for watching i remain your girl asti darling i'll see you in my next video